I hope he knows he's, uh, he's outnumbered by uh, some BV Knights over here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Mr. Doug Fisher. Thank you, Mr. Jack Tanny and Louis Schultz. Thank you very much for my sponsor who helped me through this. And uh, thank you for the board uh, for putting us all together. Um, thank you for your, your volunteerism and all your time. You tell you what, coming back here and seeing this, this is a first class event. And I think we all owe a little bit of applause to the folks who put this together. I think why everybody enjoys the game of baseball so much is there's so many great stories that uh, go along with it. And I started out uh, as a young kid with the help of a local guy in Bridgeport uh, named Gene Bone. And uh, Coach Bone, would you stand up, please? Now, Coach Bone, if you don't know him, all you got to do is think of Mr. Clean. <laughs> and then you pretty much get a good image of what Gene Bone looks like. And he was also, um, uh, he kept uh, uh, the team, he, he, he was, uh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but he was an individual who put together a team on his own. Um, he was a ball player who unfortunately had an accident and lost his eye at a young age, so he had to give up the game. So he took that passion and took us kids uh, from Bridgeport, and he had a son, and put this team, the Green Hornets, together, which is a story that really needs to be told in Saginaw County. Um, and he was a person who worked on his own. He was a self-employed man. He was a, what you'd call an accounts receivable specialist. So. <laughs> He was our coach. He was the, the bald-headed, one-eyed bill collector. <laughs> All right, that, that, was, that was our coach. So he was a pretty, pretty intense guy. And uh, we, we all love him for it. Um, and I, I got some of the best advice that I ever got from uh, Gene Bowen. was uh, uh, tee ball, no problem. You know, I could put the ball on a tee, hit it a mile. So he was a good recruiter. So he put a good team together. The first day of practice, um, he was out as a pitching coach, as a pitcher. So he was throwing some batting practice. And I, okay, I want to impress my coach first day. So swing, miss, swing, miss, swing, miss. Steps back. He says, Fisher, keep your eye on the ball. I said, Genius. <laughs> so ever since then, hey, just keep your eye on the ball and the you know, the ball goes where it should. So, so I want to thank Coach for that. Uh, but that really is a story that needs to be told. The Green Hornets, we won three state championships, 1979, 1980, 1981, uh, from a, for a group of kids in Bridgeport. And uh, we did a pretty good job. So thanks again, Coach. Um, another coach I want to give a shout out to is uh, Bob Andrzejewski. Um, thank you, Bob. There's, can you stand up, please, Coach? Back here in the audience. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Uh, coach, he's still going at it today. He's still coaching after 30 years. Uh, he had me in the 1981, 1982, and he's still coaching. So that tells you the amount of dedication that he has. And uh, you know, that's just very impressive. Very impressive. Um, Thing I remember most about Coach is we came in after a batting practice session and he lifted up his leg, or he lifted up his pant leg, and from his rear end all the way down to his calf was black and blue. He said, you got to stop hitting me out here. <laughs> <laughs> so I wonder if Coach had invested in a batting practice cage for the pitcher's mound <laughs> over these years. I hope he has. <laughs> But, uh, and also I want to give a shout out to uh, Mean Stamping. Uh, played on that uh, team with the uh, late great Wendell Niemer for um, three years, um, 81, 82, 83. And they wound up winning the national championship back in uh, 1980. Uh, included coach 
El Lupo, um, so which was very impressive. And I was a junior, got recruited by Wendell. So 81, the year after they won the national championship, I was on that team and felt quite honored. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to learn a lot here. So after a certain uh, ball game, we're sitting there in between innings, and I sit next to Wendell, and he puts his arm around me. And he's just, if you know Wendell, he was very quite spoken, a uh, man of few words. Um, and he just kind of had his arm around me for about three or four minutes. And I'm like, okay, this is it. I'm going to get the knowledge I need to go further, and this is why I'm here. I'm going to hear what I need to hear from the coach. And he looks at me and he says, stay away from women. <laughs> <laughs> now go out there and do something. But I think I played left field. I think I ran out to first base. And I told, what in the heck was that all about? <laughs> um, but now he'd look down and see that I have you know, a house full of beautiful women. Um, uh, last uh, um, shout out I'd like to give to is to uh, Coach Dean Creener. Dean, uh, could you please stand up? Um, his, I, uh, Central Michigan coach uh, Dave Collitz recruited me to go to CMU um, 1983 and 84. Uh, 1985, Dean took over that job. Uh, Dean, uh, Dave Kylitz went into the athletic director, and uh, we had won the MAC that year. And uh, 85 and 86, we also won the Mid American Conference Championship. So I like to think that I helped out Dean quite a bit with the start of his head coaching career. <laughs> we, got you, we got you on the right track, coach. Um, and I'd also like to say, uh, you know, I, I didn't make it in pro ball, but coming back to town here, looking around, said, this is my Cooperstown right here. Um, and uh, the last shout out, I just want to thank, you know, my mother who passed away when I was a senior in high school, Janice Fisher. Uh, we really miss you and uh, wish you could be with us today. So thank you very much. It's a great honor. It's great coming back.